See, you have the bun. Do you know how to do it? All right, guys, welcome back to another half hour of our Small Town Spotlight. Today we are live from Northeast El Paso. This is a live look from NEEP, which is Northeast El Paso Collective Food Truck Park. And that just opened up a few weeks ago here in Northeast El Paso. This is just one of our uh, almost second to last installment. We're almost done with this uh, beautiful series that we've been here highlighting this gorgeous uh, city. Good evening, everyone. I'm Monica Cortez. And I'm Skyler Soto. Now, if you're just joining us right now, we are in our small town spotlight mm -hmm. series installment. And right now we're in Northeast El Paso, as Monica was saying, at Neep Collective. So Northeast El Paso Collective, just a place where people can come, enjoy some good live music, mm -hmm. um, some food trucks. We have Healthy Shack, we have Skinny's Barbecue, we have Monchi's. Awesome food trucks here, everyone, and especially the food, let me tell you. So a lot of things to enjoy and even bring family, friends, and pets. Oh, I know. I love it. And you know what? I still feel like I have a little bit of food in my mouth. I was just enjoying this incredible slider from Monchi's, courtesy of Monchi's. It's it so awesome. delicious. Guys, everything here is so, so delectable. Uh, I do want to switch over a little bit, though, but we, we have a lot to cover. Yeah, that's right. And so it is the Border Patrol Museum right on Trans Mountain Road. And it's the only museum. Um, it's one of its kind. Yeah, check out this incredible story. It was first displayed in 1985 in the basement of the Cortez building in downtown El Paso. It was there for a number of years and then closed down. Uh, we opened here in this location in 1994 and have been here ever since. You can see a lot, and then there's a lot you can't see, but uh, it's primarily in our archive area. We're in the process of digitizing all of our archives, memos and stuff we've collected throughout the years, articles, photographs. We have uh, two classic cars that were part of a Border Patrol operation in the mid-80s. Two helicopters, one inside the museum and one that's being refurbished. It was suffered a... Uh, an accident during a windstorm, but it's ready to be back and installed. So you can see a lot of the history here. We probably have the best archival collection of Border Patrol history outside the National Archives. And we're going to be uh, refreshing all of a lot of our exhibits uh, for the coming centennial year. Uh, we remodeled this museum, finished it in 2015, and uh, we need to refresh it again because the, the celebration will be here in El Paso and we want to make the museum look really nice. If you look at back at the history when we were formed in 1924, uh, the first Border Patrol Academy training school was here in El Paso. We were part of three districts on the southern border, El Paso, Los Angeles, and San Antonio. So it, it basically began here. That is an awesome historic site to see, especially here in Northeast El Paso, not too far. Yeah, and remember guys, this is the only one in the United States and it's right here. Yep, that's right. Wow. And you know, Skylar, you and I have been talking about it. We are so lucky to have the cloud cover in our sky. Yep. It's been just so beautiful. And I feel like maybe we might start cooling down yep. for that question. Let's go ahead and send it over to our meteorologist, Robert Bettis. Hey, yes, Robert. Skylar. Hi, Skylar. Hi, Monica. Oh, yes. Now it's very nice. It was a little sunny and hot. High temperatures today in the upper 90s, and we're just three days away from fall. But I like what I see over my shoulder. Clouds, scattered thunder showers tonight, and cooler tomorrow with high temperatures only in the upper 80s and low 90s. Of course, these small town spotlights couldn't happen without Charlie Clark Automotive Group and my good friend, Bobby Bow. Why you doing? If yes, you sir. just make one of these corn holes, you, know, you saw how we did with basketball I did, I did. last week. Yeah. You and I didn't make a single basket. A single shot. We, it's okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to make it up with we corn We can redeem hole. ourselves. So just get one, Bobby, and okay. I've got a treat for Let's you. Let's do okay? it. Let's do it. All right. There we go. I'll You're ready. Right. Ah! Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice. Finally, we look yes. professional. Yes. We look professional. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to have your full forecast coming up in just a little bit. Even though we're three days away from fall, it's still going to be extremely hot. We'll still be flirting with triple-digit heat. Bobby, have a seat right over here. I've got some delicious Healthy Shack tacos oh, for you. Delicious. I'm have, I need you to build up your strength because we've yes, uh, got live music we have to participate Let's in. Let's go. Coming up. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
Monica, Skylar. Thank you so much, Robert. Well, okay, Skylar, so I feel like what Robert was talking about, the clouds, we may have some rain chances in the forecast, but you know what? My car is so dirty. I think I'm just going to have to wash it. Well, you know what? Here in Northeast El Paso, there's a car wash here. And if you're in other parts of town, you can get it as well. And it'll have your car looking squeaky clean. Really? And that okay. is Tommy's Express Car Wash. Take a look. We are a low energy car wash and we also use reclaimed water. So we recycle 33% of the water from every wash. Also job creation. When we opened, we brought 20 plus jobs to the area. So I think there's a lot of different factors that go into uh, revitalizing an area. And I think us along with all of the other new businesses in the area have uh, really done a great job of that. We decided to come to the Northeast because we recognize that it was an underserved community and we saw an opportunity to bring a national brand um, at a high quality, low cost model. I wouldn't say that we're fighting to change the perception of Northeast El Paso, but we definitely you know, want to help garner a more positive perception. And I think uh, we do that through community engagement. Every October, we host something called a Tunnel of Terror, which is a haunted car wash, just something fun for the family to get out and do. Also, we feature uh, different nonprofit organizations, so that allows the uh, community to give back and also build awareness around different issues. The best part about being in the Northeast is just contributing to its growth. It's been really rewarding watching the Northeast uh, evolve into a thriving part of El Paso. Our ownership group is local. They've been a part of the community uh, forever. So it's really special, you know, watching them identify a need and being able to satisfy that need. To new businesses coming to the area, I'd say come on, Hop competition is healthy, but uh, really it's such a robust and up and coming area. It's so close to Fort Bliss and there's still so much of the area that hasn't been exposed to national brands or new business. So let's keep this momentum going and continue to help grow Northeast El Paso. Oh man, I love that. I feel like now I know where I'm going to be taking my car now for a nice deep wash. Perfect place. <laughs> <laughs> and we have so much more coming up after the break. You're watching a special episode of KTSM 9 News at 6, live from Northeast El Paso. Weather Authority, Robert Bettis, the Borderlands only certified broadcast meteorologist. Oh, Bobby Bone. Yes. Charlie Clark Automotive Group, making these small town spotlights happen. Yes? Yes. You'd say that uh, going into a Charlie Clark place is like singing a smooth song with Ryan G. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, what if I look at you? And just I look at you. Just one look at you, uh, and I know it's gonna be oh, oh, oh Charlie Day. 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 Your forecast. Here comes your exclusive nine hour forecast for Thursday and a very different day. We will be cooler with a high temperature of 93 degrees. Additional cloud cover as well as the cool front comes in overnight tonight. Here comes your fall countdown. Just three more days officially until fall begins. That's Saturday morning at 1250. Here are the high temperatures so far today. Oh my goodness, we need fall. 98, that's not official. 99 Juarez, 90 Las Cruces, 90 Alamogordo, 91 Deming. A look at the satellite radar composite overnight tonight. We'll see an increase in cloud cover and also widely scattered showers and thunder showers that could come in quite late tonight, even overnight tonight to start out our Thursday. Your allergy forecast 9.5 for Thursday, 11.4 on Friday. High temperatures tomorrow going down 89 Alamogordo, 89 Deming, 93 Juarez and 91 for Van Horn. 
Tonight for you, Las Cruces, 66 the low temperature with scattered showers and thunder showers. Cooler tomorrow as well with a high temperature of 89 degrees. We'll see another chance of isolated thunder showers. 68 the low temperature at the International Airport tonight with that chance of overnight rain. 93 our high temperature for tomorrow. Cooler with isolated thunder showers. Now only KTSM gives you nine full days of weather. We're going to dry out completely on Friday as we move back up to 98 degrees to begin our fall 97 95 slightly cooler on Sunday on Monday partly cloudy skies 98 we could be flirting with 100 again on Tuesday with evening thunder showers 95 Wednesday and 95 on Thursday oh, <laughs> Okay, just looked out and that's looking south toward Juarez and some lightning in the area. So thank you. Here come the thunder showers. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of rain overnight tonight and we'll start to cool down a little bit because tomorrow is going to be a jolly day. Charlie day, 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 Charlie day. Charlie Day, 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 Charlie
All right, I am here with Ezekiel Ambriz. He is owner of Munchies. And Ezekiel, tell us, what exactly is this really cool food truck you have here? Uh, munchies is just anything you can imagine, all your late night munchies that you can snack on. We have a wide variety menu, uh, ranging from our burgers, our wings, loaded fries, loaded nachos. Definitely look out for the burgers and look out for the loaded uh, nachos. Those are our two, top two sellers uh, here at this location and so far uh, since we've been open. Wow. Well, guys, this is an entire portion of nachos. Yeah, this is definitely something I'm going to be munching on. Well, there you guys have it. Every kind of cuisine imaginable you can find right here in Neep Collective. Hercules and Dyer in Northeast El Paso. And guys, if you just want to indulge into something sweet, then you definitely want to go into Shuro. It's something you will not regret. We are here now with Joe Luna, the owner, who set up everything today. So I know you have lots of food trucks here. Can more come and vendors? So we are open to pop-ins right now. So we are always looking to add variety into our lineup. So you can find all the information on our website, neepcollective.com. So if someone is interested, you can find the information and then fill out a form so that we can get you on that list so we can get you popping in. Oh, that's oh. amazing. And you know what? Okay, so I feel like Northeast El Paso, you think about it, and I feel like it's really growing. How do you feel about having something like this in this part of town? I think the fact that we're accessible from all parts of the city um, and just the fact that the Northeast has kind of been yearning and really wanting something like this to come to the area. It's been super supportive. We have a lot of support from other businesses in the area as well. So um, I think it's just a great thing that it's specifically where it is right here off Dyer, off 54 in the heart of Northeast El Paso. That is awesome. And so if you're watching this and don't have dinner plans yet or not sure what to cook, people can still come out, right? Tell us a little bit about your hours. Yeah, so today we are open until midnight. Our bar is at least and then food trucks will probably be open up until maybe 10, 10.30 tonight. Um, we are open Wednesday through Sundays, so plenty of food options all weekend long, all week long. Um, so yeah, we, we would love to have people come out right now. Well, thank you so much, Joe, and thank you for explaining everything to us. It's an awesome place to be. Thank it you so is. much. Now, we do have a lot more coming up after this quick break. That's right. You're watching KTSM 9 News at 6.